If we had a building project, we would follow the wise advice of measuring twice, cutting once. And building projects in our lives, like building a bookshelf or something from Ikea, that's a wonderful project. But the real project with your life is what you build with your words. You have to measure your words carefully, not always an easy thing to do. In Proverbs 16, 23, the Bible says this, From a wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are very persuasive. And Samuel Goldwyn, the movie mogul, once said this, When someone does something good, applaud, and you'll make two people happy. Well, if you seek to be a source of encouragement to friends and family members and co-workers, you must know, or you must learn, how to measure your words very carefully. And that's exactly what God wants you to do. God's Word reminds us over and over again that kind words bring comfort to those that hear them. Well, today, make this promise to yourself. Vow to be an honest, effective, encouraging communicator at work, at home, and every place in between. You will be very valued by the people that hear your words. Speak wisely, not impulsively. Use words of praise, not words of anger or words that cause division. Learn how to be truthful without being cruel. Remember that you have the power to heal others or to injure them, to lift others up or to bring them down. And when you learn to lift them up, you're going to soon discover that you've been lifted up yourself. I pray with you today that God gives you power in your words and also in your mind behind your words, that you will measure your words carefully before you speak. And then when you speak, I pray that it is the power of the spoken word going out from you, that when you bless and praise another person, may God be in the vibratory rate of your words, so it causes it to multiply and increase in the mind and the ear of the hearer. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.